at 10. Three El Dorado County educators facing felony charges tonight in the death of a special needs student. 13 year old Max Benson died nearly a year ago after he was restrained by staff members at Guiding Hand School. A lot to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adrienne Moore. And I'm Tony Lopez. Today, the El Dorado County DA's office announced manslaughter charges against three employees along with the school itself. We'll have much more on the charges in just a moment. But first, CBS 13 Steve Large is live for us in Davis, where the student lived with reaction from family and friends. Steve. And no question, there's mixed reaction from people who knew this child. There's the sadness that he is gone. There's also now hope that these criminal charges will bring justice. That's the only thing I can do now is just remember him. Jennifer Abinat holds the framed photo of Max Benson. He still was just a little boy. That she keeps on display in her own home. She also has part of Benson's beloved treasure collection. Just pretty things, things that kind of shine. A cigar box full of the 13-year-old's knickknacks that Benson cherished. Rings. Max's family gave the box to Abinat, who's a close friend and whose son also lives with autism. You send your kid to school expecting them to come home um, no matter how hard of a day they had. The El Dorado County DA announced criminal charges are being filed against Max Benson's Guiding Hand School and three staff members almost a year after Benson died after he was physically restrained in their class. The announcement brings Abinat hope for justice. Responsibility is important. Before the criminal complaint was announced, Max's mother described in this public letter what she has learned about her son's final moments. She says Max died after his teacher and other staff pinned him face down by four limbs, one teacher sitting on him in a manner she described as cruel and punitive. The family attorney has also filed a civil lawsuit. Getting justice for Max and, and really ensuring that this never happens to another child. A tragic death of a child living with autism at a school specializing in students with special needs. Max Benson never came home. Now a judge will decide if that was a crime. And Benson's family will be holding a vigil for Max at the El Dorado County Sheriff's or, uh, District Attorney's Office this coming weekend.